Our next problem will be number 39. In problem 39, we let f of x equal the following piecewise defined function. So for values of x less than 1, uh, f of x is 2x. And if x is greater than or equal to 1, we have f of x equals to x squared plus 3x. And we want to do two things here. First, we just want to show that f of x is not continuous at 1. And then we want to answer the question, is f of x continuous from the left or the right at x equals 1? OK, so part A, to show that this function f of x is not actually continuous at 1, we need to go through our three rules. We need to say, OK, first of all, does it have a functional value at 1? Does it have a limit value at 1? And are those the same? So does it have a functional value at 1? Well, if I plug in 1 for f of x, or f of 1, then for if x is equal to 1, I use this guy. So I plug 1 in here. So I get 1 squared plus 3 times 1. 1 squared plus 3 times 1, which is just 4. And yes, indeed, this function does have a functional value at 1. Second question, does it have a limit value at 1? So we want to ask the question, what's the limit? as x goes to 1 of this function f of x. Well, this is a little bit harder question, because if x is coming at 1 from the left side, then we're looking at 2x. And if x is coming at 1 from the right side, then we're looking at x squared plus 3x. So maybe what I should do to start is let's just say, what if we're coming at the function f of x from the left side? Then what happens? OK, so I'll replace this. This is the limit as x goes to 1 from the left of f of x. But from the left, that's less than 1. x's are less than 1. So we use 2x. And I, the limit is x goes to 1 from the left of 2x. Well, I can just plug in the 1. I don't get any division by 0, and I get 2. Now we can look at the limit as x goes to 1 from the right of f of x. But if I'm coming at this thing from the right, then the x values are bigger than 1. If they're bigger than 1, then I use x squared plus 3x. So this is equal to, sorry, uh, let me erase that real quick. This is the limit as x goes to 1 from the right of x squared plus 3x. OK, again, I don't create any division by 0 by plugging in 1 here. So I'll go ahead and do it. And I get 1 squared plus 3 times 1, which is 4. So the limit as x goes to 1 from the left is 2. The limit as x goes to 1 from the right is 4. So does this thing have a limit? Only if the left hand and the right hand limits agree. They do not. So that shows us that this thing is not continuous at 1 because it doesn't have a limit at 1. In other words, I could say uh, I want to show that f of x is not continuous at 1. Uh, f of x is not continuous. Because the limit as x goes to 1 of the function does not exist. Okay, And that's the answer to part a. The limit doesn't exist, so obviously uh, the function can't uh, be continuous there. For part b, we're trying to answer the question, is this thing continuous from the left or from the right? Well, for it to be continuous from the left or from the right, it just has to agree with either its left-hand limit or its right-hand limit as a functional value. So does the functional value agree with the left-hand limit or the right-hand limit? It obviously agrees with the right-hand limit. And so we can say that, OK, in the case of if I was just looking at the right-hand limit, this thing does match up. And so we can say that it is continuous from the right. So for part b, f of x is continuous 
prompt the right to.